Black Raquel. I'm CEO and founder of uh, TradeSpoon. And uh, today I'd like to go over current market conditions, what to expect after today's CPI data and midterm elections towards the end of the year and beyond. Disclosure is very important. I'm going to go through a specific trading example. Please uh, pause the screen if you need more time to read the disclosures. If you're new to trading stock or options, I encourage you to visit this link, optionscreen.com, to understand the risks associated with trading stock and options. All right, so let's take a look. All right, looking at the stock for a toolbox, going into the CPI data today, again, this is a neural network uh, that learns and makes predictions on the data based on yesterday's close. Uh, market was uh, model turned negative, turning negative meaning that bears were in control for the next 10 days. Obviously with today's data, better than expected CPI data, the table had turned and we are trading well above 378 level, actually at three, we're trading above 390 level at this point. For the next six months, the model also bearish and sees 386 is overhead resistance and longer term, you know, retesting 350 in the next few months. All right. So now that we do have kind of new information about the spiders, let's look and see what to expect. Again, my opinion hasn't changed. If you follow my blog or my videos, I did say that market was oversold and can potentially can rally, it all depends on the dollar and currency. If we do, if, if uh, bulls are, are able to break the dollar, right? If dollar bears, dollar bears are able to break through the support, if the 10 year trades below 410 level, right? This would be a huge win for the bulls. So short term, I think rally continues towards the end of the year. We actually briefly traded above 390 level. We pulled back on the bad comments that you know, don't get too excited, right? That the recession is persistent. One data point is not enough. We need to be data driven and most likely still have a restrictive environment for better part of the next year. Market pulled back on that news, but still nonetheless, the win for the bulls. Assuming we're gonna close at this level, I would, your overhead resistance is 390, your support 380. I would wait for this level to be retested. You know, if Friday and Monday were trading above 390, then it's just a matter of time to trade around 400 level. I think we will break through this level. My core scenario would trade around 400 and 410, right? So 400, 410. Obviously, best case scenario, we might approach the downtrend from this year, maybe even break slightly. 420, that would be best case scenario. But core scenario is 400 to 410 below this downtrend line. Uh, so that's my view on the market and the next year pullback, next year pullback after, as we approach in the next earning cycle and we'll get a few more CPI data prints. So short term, I would be bullish, but I would still consider closing as we approach in 400, 410 level, I would consider closing some of your bullish positions. So I did that before yesterday, you know, to trim some of the spiders, still long spiders, but you know, the idea is to continue trimming some of your long positions. Still long spiders short term. And finally, please join us on YouTube. Every Wednesday, we have a live trading room on Monday at 8.15 a.m. and Friday, sorry, and Wednesday at 8.15 a.m. and Wednesday closing bell at 1.55 p.m. Live discussion, be part of the community, don't trade alone. We always have uh, great questions. I'm going to give you my view on the market. You know, a lot of we have a lot of professional traders that will you know share their uh, view on the market and uh, you know trades that do and do not work. So invest into education, invest into being part of the community, and please join us on YouTube. That's all I have for today. Thank you very much, and have a great day.